I first started reading comics um, when I was a little Ramsey, a little wee Ramsey. Uh, I'd say I was maybe about five, five, six years old. Kind of, um, my mom would go to this store in Mission called Wins, and W I N N apostrophe S, and it, it was I don't know, kind of like a, I guess a, a mini, 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 mini kind of Target or Walmart type place, and they just had random, you know, things for sewing or you know stuff you needed at your household or something, but they had a rack with little grab bags of comics and what it was, it was three comics in a little plastic bag. Um, cost I think like two dollars for three comics or something like that. And uh, so every time I'd go she'd buy me one of those and I'd you know, read them, tear them up, cut them up, whatever. And it wasn't until later that I started uh, actually collecting them and kind of keeping them in the box. It's a new comic book day so uh, people, you know, every Wednesday new comics come in so people want to come in and get their comics. Um, the comics of course are, are you know, doing really well. Another yeah. thing that's doing good is uh, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Naruto. Basically what those are, card games, um, it's kind of like poker meets Dungeons and Dragons, I guess. I, I don't know how to explain it, you know, and, and basically, you know, they're, they're all pretty similar, all the card games. Uh, Saturdays we have Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments and this place just gets packed. There's like 50 kids in here, you know, they're all playing tournament, you know, playing their card games for, for prizes and stuff. Um, and uh, that sells really well. Uh, trade paperbacks sell well. Action figures, I mean, it all sells sells pretty evenly. If we have repeat customers come back, we, we give them good service. Uh, uh, don't try to overload it with too much uh, new stuff at once. We try to get them one or two or three different books, and maybe, and try those three comic books, and if they enjoy any one of those, we. We let them know that we normally get uh, new issues every month, once a month or once every six weeks, depending on the on a, on a company. But most comic books are printed uh, 10 to 12 times a year. And if the customer enjoys that book, then we invite them to come back for the next issue. Or then if they become uh, avid readers of more than five to 10 books a month, we encourage them to start a subscription service with us where we save the books for them and then they can come in at the leisure and pick them up and they won't have to worry about us selling out. Yeah, I talked, oh yeah, great, good, good find, man. I want to try that because um, I talked to them on Twitter and they follow me, so because I started a blog where I review comics. In a city of this size, thank God we don't have any competition, which is good for us, and we don't even have a bookstore here anymore, so it even makes it much, that much better for us. But, I mean, we use uh, social media, I mean, Facebook, Twitter, we've got a blog, we've got a website, uh, occasionally do, we do ads on the radio. We've got three or four different stores on the internet. I mean, we market the heck out of ourselves, but we do it ourselves, you know, and it's a lot of work. But, uh, and I think a lot of people don't take advantage of things like Facebook and, and, and all those, and it brings us just an unbelievable amount of business. I mean, it's really amazing. And we've talked to other small businesses that we say, hey, do you use this, do you use this? And they go, nah, that doesn't work, and then we show them. I mean, in 2010, when the economy is down in the dirt, we had a 43% growth in sales from the previous year, which is unbelievable, and a lot of that is just because we self-promote ourselves so much. So, you gotta hustle, but it works. I think comic book adapted movies, there's a place for them. I mean, I like watching them, you know, all my friends, we get together, go to the midnight showings. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad, but I think it's the same way with any kind of movie. Some local guys that did a, a trade paperback called Legacy, Valley of Tears, I believe it's called. Uh, they're local guys that actually drew their own comic from West Laco. They came in here and did some signings. With uh, my magazine, MagX, we had our fifth year anniversary um, uh, concert, and we got some of the bands to come here and do uh, acoustic sets uh, live here for, you know, for their fans and for new customers. So we do try to have uh, events like that. I used to read uh, mostly like Sad Sack, uh, Beetle Bailey, Bullwinkle, uh, Popeye, stuff like that. And I 
when I first opened up my business, I put products like that in my store down here, and unfortunately, they were not not well received by the by my customers back then. It was more Marvel superheroes, X Men, Spider Man, Batman, Superman. It's kind of different for us because there's four of us that are owners. Um, two firefighters, a cop, and a teacher. We were going to call it that, but the sign was going to be really expensive. So, um, so we all have full-time careers. So this is more of a passion for us than a need for... We don't need to make so much money off of this store that we're going to survive with it. It's just a little bit of extra money. Mostly we do it just because we have such a good time. You know, we love it. I mean, it's like being a kid again. Besides being a firefighter and being a uh, own a comic book store, I walk into my kid's school in the morning, I'm either in my firefighter uniform or a Spider-Man shirt, and all the kids think I'm a rock star. It's amazing. Everybody's been really supportive. My girlfriend is really supportive of, of it, too. You know, usually, you know, most people are like, ah, oh, comic book geek, you know, you know, what, you know, what's the big deal about these things? But, you know, she actually had to read um, a comic book called Mouse, M-A-U-S, um, for her literature class. And she actually got to see, okay, wow, you know, like, comic books can actually tell real stories. It's a, a story about the um, um, uh, Nazi Germany and, you know, what, what the, what the uh, Jews were going through and, and told from the perspective of one of them, you know, and, and what his family went through. You have to know your customer base. The, the biggest thing I learned was uh, realizing that the customer is the one that runs the store. Basically, they they the, if you have to feed into their demands, and if you if you you have to buy or get order products that you think that they want. Uh, um, it's it's a guessing game, and everything we order is in the future, so it's a it's a it's a big guessing game as far as uh, what's going to sell, uh, what's not going to sell. You know your deck would have been like kick ass if you had a Chidori stream in area. Yeah. Okay. It's a lot of work. And anybody that doesn't live in a place like New York City or somewhere huge that thinks they'll make a lot of money off of it and be millionaires are crazy and they realize that real quick. It's a it's a big responsibility because you have so many people. I mean we probably have three, four hundred subscribers now and, and uh, you have to keep track of everything. I mean it's it's a full time job. Uh, so there are some drawbacks. I mean at times it can be a little stressful but we do it for the enjoyment. We know if we don't make as much money as we want to. We're not. Hey, we're not going to pay the bills. You know, I'm not going to be able to keep my house or anything. We don't worry about any of that because we all have full-time careers. But I mean, I love being around this stuff. I've loved it ever since I was a kid. It it, it makes me feel young. Um, I, mean, I really like reading it. Uh, I don't get to read as much as I'd like, but uh, you know, I, I I mean, it's just and the people that you're around. I mean, I love this stuff, and I'm around people all day long that love this stuff too. You know, I mean, who wouldn't like that? You know. Did you come in, sir? 1,000 hours. No. Oh, he, he, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. The Hulk. Oh, I did? Spider-Man. No, he didn't get it. Damn. Oh, yeah. can, I, can I break away and running shot? In other words, if I make the breakaway, then you yeah. run it. But if you miss it, then you're not. Shooter. Each ability is... I'm going to stand on top of him because you Why waste it on Sinestro? I think everybody wants, wants to be a have a superhero in their life and uh, to, to uh, kind of takes the edge off of uh, the day, everyday pressures. I try to surround myself with um, everything that I love. You know, I love comic books, I love movies, you know, I love music. Um, and it, it gives meaning to my life just to be able to, to, to have it around me all the time. Whether I get to read them or I have time to read them or not, it, it's something I love. It's a medium that, that I really love and, and believe in. Um, and really just that, you know, makes me happy. Sometimes I walk in, I'm like, wow, I own a comic store, you know, and it gives me a little bit of joy, you know, knowing that, hey, I still own a comic store, it's doing good, you know. Um, but I mean, it doesn't, you know, it's not life changing, but it adds that little, you know, spark that, that makes my life a little happier.